You were born with individual strengths and a unique purpose. Don't let fears, false beliefs, or life's happenings diminish your influence. It's time to live and lead for impact. Host Kirsten Ross, expert of transformation, will help you defeat the drama and overcome the trauma that can stop you in your tracks. You'll gain focus, find confidence, and take bold action. Unleash passionate, purposeful you. Let's go. Welcome to Live and Lead for Impact. I'm Kirsten Ross, your host, and this is episode 190. And today I'm going to be giving you some tips for ending overwhelm with 20 ways to say no. But before I get started, I want to invite you to reach out if you are struggling with leadership, communication, relationships, anything around team health, reach out. Let's spend some time together so I can share some specific strategies for you and see if there are other ways that you can get plugged in and I can serve you in helping you make your bigger, bolder impact. To do that, just go to defeatthedrama.com forward slash call. It's that simple. You can book a quick discovery call right there, something that works well for you. All right, so let's get started. Saying no can be really tough at times, almost impossible, especially if you're a people pleaser, but it's a necessary skill if you want to live life with any kind of balance, especially when you're working to make your big impact in the world. Demands on our time, money, and other resources can take all that we have if we allow them. And failing to use this important word leads to resentments in our relationships, overscheduling, overwhelm, overextending, frustration, and inattention to our own needs or goals. When we aren't good at it, coming up with a no on the fly can be difficult. I encourage my clients to create some ready phrases so that they're prepared. The trick, a couple of things. One, be authentic. Trust me, if you want to say no, you have a good reason. It's just a matter of getting it phrased in a way that feels comfortable to you. The next, make it brief. Too much detail and you end up sounding defensive or whiny rather than assertive. You don't have to prove yourself. Keep that in mind. So the phrases here are a starting point for establishing your own no phrases. Modify them to fit your own priorities and style. Now I'm going to be sharing these and for sure you're going to want to head over to the show notes at defeatthedrama.com, click on the podcast tab and go to episode 190. You'll find all of these right there. Here we go. One, I just can't right now. Two, you know, I volunteer a certain number of hours per month and I've already made my commitments elsewhere. Three, my focus is on my family right now. Four, sorry, but I won't be able to help out this time. Five, my focus for the next several months is on a big career push. I won't be able to help this time. Six, I would love to, but my husband and I have made other commitments. Seven, it sounds great. Not right now. Can you call me back in six months? Eight, that is not my area of gifting. I'm really trying to put my energy where I can be my best self. Nine, I'm sorry, but I need to decline. 10, no. 11, I'm sorry, it's not a good fit for me. 12, sorry, I'm already overextended. 13, I wouldn't be able to give my best to that right now. 14, no thank you. I'm not interested. 15, I've been really overwhelmed lately, so I'm practicing saying no. 16, that just doesn't work for me. 17, no thank you. 18, sounds like a great project. Let me put you in touch with someone I think would love to be involved. 19, my budget doesn't allow for that right now. 20, I just have no time for that in my schedule right now. So that is just a starting point. Again, I encourage you to go to the show notes, do a copy and paste, grab all these, and then make them your own. Tweak, combine, do what you need to do to have just a few of them at the ready in a way that works for you. And of course, modify. Husband doesn't have to be husband. It can be partner, wife, of course. Uh, and you know, maybe it's not your budget. It's just your, the way you're allocating your money at this point. But anyway, just have fun with it. Be ready to say no so that you can make your bigger, bolder impact. And again, do reach out. I'm serious. I carve out a certain amount of time each week to spend helping uh, those who are making their bigger, bolder impact and also to just get connected and see how I can help. So 
reach out. It's defeatthedrama.com forward slash call. And you can find that link on the show notes as well. So good luck and happy balancing. Get out there and make your bigger, bolder impact. And thanks for listening. 